Hi, this is Patrick from STH. Today, we wanted to test what is faster out of the box, Windows Server 2012 R2 or Windows Server 2016 with the new AMD Epic 7601 Tapa and SKUs. We are gonna use Cinebench R15 just as a very quick test. Cinebench is not a really good benchmark because it doesn't touch beyond the L3 cache in most instances. So it runs really well on Epic but on the other hand, it's hard to call it a great benchmark. The first thing you'll see is that we have our Windows Server 2012 R2 system set up. And we're going to run Cinebench R15 on this. Across the two CPUs, it has a total of 128 threads with 64 cores. So you see a lot of different rendering squares and a 4960 CPU score. Flipping over to Windows Server 2016, we can again see that we're using our dual AMD Epic 7601s. They have a ton of level three cache, 128 megs, and we're gonna run Cinebench R15 one more time. This should only take a second or two. Again, we're about to see 128 squares render this test image. And we're going to notice that the score is a little bit higher. It's actually 5446, which is about 10% faster. So in our quick Cinebench test, what we call crushing Cinebench, you'll see that Windows Server 2016 is about 10% faster out of the box. That's a noticeable improvement. So we probably recommend using Windows Server 2016 if you're building a new system. On the other hand, it's great to know that Windows Server 2012 R2 works out of the box and you still get pretty good performance even using a five-year-old operating system. This is by no means an extensive test, but it's at least a good rough estimate of what Cinebench will do. For some reason, we get emails asking about Cinebench performance every time a new CPU comes out. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more cool videos.